Right, I'm going to turn my attention now to the valves because um, I had to buy some uh, more steel. I had to buy some bigger steel because the steel that came with it, which is high tensile steel for these, um, was only 3 eighths and of course um, my valves need to be bigger than that. So I bought this uh, slightly bigger bit of high tensile steel um, because they were originally 375. Let's zoom out a bit on that. Well, that's as far as I can go. They were originally 375, but now they're 439 and 450. Um, I've also got to put a thread on this end, which is a, a 5BA. Well, a 5BA is a, an outside diameter of 3.2 millimeters and 1 8 they're calling up for the valve is 3.18 so I will have to go to the 3.18 um, otherwise uh, it's going to be uh, if I go to 3.2 it's going to be too big to go into the um, valve guides so anyway let's get over to the lathe and um, see what we can do with these right left a couple of uh, inches stick out it's got to come down to uh, very small three millimeters um, which means I'm gonna it's gonna flex like hell um, realistically so I'm gonna put a very small center in there hopefully I can get a live center on there and um, fingers crossed it should should stay stable enough to cut a nice clean shaft so let's face it off Right, this is the smallest centre I've got. Right, I should be able to get a little centre in there. Four container five. I need 439. That's good enough for me. Right, got to form this um, little detail here now. Um, this is the plan. Right, got to form uh, this little detail here now. This little round just in there, which I'm, uh, which I'm going to do. I need the edge of this cutter to be 312 from here, from this face here. So I'm going to put the edge of this cutter right on that face. Okay, zero out the DRO, 1312 that way to form my round.
Right, it's got that little detail formed. So now I have to create the chamfer on here for the valve seat. Right, I've got the cutter set to 60 degrees. Um, it says 90 on the drawing, but I'm doing these faces at 60. Um, because how I did the valve seats was I used a 60 degree drill. So anyway, let's just get the uh, height of the cutter set up. I need to go 045 that way once I touch that edge. Nice and whoa, nice and easy does it. Set the DRO and 045. Okay, I've got the seat on there now. Right, this is the seat. Obviously it's got to be ground in. Um, so now I need to just finish this little detail off here and part it off. It does actually show a slot in this end. I assume it's to put a screwdriver on so you can um, do this end so anyway before I part this off I need to get this thread on this end which is a 5BA let's get rid of this let's get rid of that get the thread tool in here and hopefully get a 5BA on there and see how that works out well can you believe that I haven't got a 5BA tap which is sort of bugging me up a bit because I didn't really want to take it out of here until I've uh, tapped that end. Um, yeah, there's, there's nothing I can do about it. I'll have to um, uh, I'll have to order one anyway. I'll order one. I suppose what I could do is to. Um, cut it off, part it off back there and um, put it back in oh, I didn't really want to lose the concentricity I've uh, managed to get uh, uh, a new tap and die, I didn't just buy a, a die, I bought some taps as well um, because I haven't got any of those and I'm bound to need them so anyway, they weren't much dearer than just buying a die on its own, so I've got a die. We'll get the holder set up and we'll get the uh, 5BA thread put on here now. This is a couple of days later after um, we left this. Um, I've, I've just left it in the lathe, so it, it's, it'll all still be okay. Right, after a lot of uh, faffing about, I've managed to get it sorted. So, let's get this thread on there. Um, let's just mark up how far down I need to go. I want to go down about there somewhere. Right. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to part it off and then put it back in a collet or something to get this end face sorted out. So let's get it parted off. Alright, there we are. Ouch. 
that's hot. Um, that's parted off so now I can sort this end out but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make the other one <sighs> that's hot <laughs> I'm going to make the other one off camera get it to this stage and then I'll just finish the ends off right I've got this uh, set up in the chuck now in a little collet Let's get that tightened up Right, just need to just get this down to size now. There we go, that's the two valves complete. Um, not quite sure what's coming next, but um, you'll know soon enough. But uh, anyway, yeah, they're quite pleased how they came out. Right, I'm going to do these now the valve collars. This one's the inlet, 3 16ths, that's the exhaust, 1 8th. Fairly straightforward. Um, just a bit of mild steel turned down to dimension with a, a 5BA thread through the centre. Let's get on with them. Right, it's 2.75 millimeter tap drill for a 5BA. Well, I haven't got a, a 2.75 drill, but drills normally cut oversize anyway, so I'll pop in a uh, 2.7.
Right, I've dropped that in quite a way so I can now tap I can now tap all the way through for both of them so when I part this one off the other one will um, still be there and I can just I haven't got to re-tap it. Right, that's the face of the uh, parting tool. Got to go 188 that way. I've just uh, zeroed the DRO out, by the way. That's how I know I'm going 188 that way. Right, lock it off. Right, 188, part it off. Um, let's get something in there to catch it, shall we? Might do. I might put that back in a collet just to face that side off. But um, yep, we're good there. That's the valves. Not fixed in properly yet, but um, that's the basic idea. Good. Let's move on to the next component then, or whatever that may be. That's all, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. I would also appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button because that will uh, enable me to grow the channel so that I can keep making these videos. Please leave a comment or a question. I do read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.